what up everybody i'm pastor matt i'm victoria and this is our associate pastor water wow isn't today such a beautiful day it is and uh thank you for sitting inside watching this video on youtube or for those of you at general baptist bible college in the philippines in school in school today we're not talking about where we are which is called lincoln state park so if you don't know who abraham lincoln is because you're from the philippines you can just look him up he was a president here in the united states a long time ago very important president did a lot of great things today we're talking about this thing which is called lincoln spring it's here on his boyhood farm where he lived most of his boyhood up until his early 20s and then he moved on. But this Lincoln Spring here, that's what we're going to be talking about in today's message, which is all about blessing. Blessing. For those of you who knew, we do these monthly devotionals for General Baptist Bible College in Dallas City, Philippines. And our focus, our theme this year is the acronym GBBC or General Baptist Bible College. And it stands for, let's all say it together. For those of you students, let's all say it together. Ready? God blesses beyond challenges. So if you're new and you haven't watched any of these others, the link will be in the description below on YouTube and you can watch all of these starting in September. So we're here with a theme blessing but first, before we talk about this Lincoln Spring, Pastor Justin from Saipan Community School is going to talk a little bit about what blessing means to him. All right, take it away, Pastor Justin. Hello, GBBC. This is uh, Pastor Justin Cook, Saipan Community School and Church. Uh, we're so glad to be with you again this month. And so we want to spend a little bit of time today talking about what does blessing mean or what does it mean to you maybe individually? Uh, before we discuss that a little bit, I want to look at a passage from Jeremiah 17, uh, verses 7 and 8. So let's see what this reads. Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, whose trust is the Lord. He is like a tree planted by water that sends out its roots by the stream and does not fear when heat comes, for its leaves remain green, and is not anxious in the year of drought, for it does not cease to bear fruit. When I was looking over different passages for uh, what does it mean to be blessed. This passage of Jeremiah came up. And it's really the best way to describe what blessing is to be blessed by God or be blessed by the Lord, as it says in Jeremiah 17. And so we could say things in our life like, I mean, one of my greatest blessings is for me, it's like to be married to my wife for um, 10 years this week. And for my two sons, uh, Gabriel and Roland, but my greatest blessing is knowing that my Lord Jesus Christ, that he sacrificed himself for me, he died for me, and he rose three days later, victorious over death, victorious over hell, victorious over sin, so that I, and also you, could have the opportunity for salvation. And so my friends, that's my greatest blessing. As of course, my family is a large blessing to me and close friends, but my greatest blessing is knowing that my Lord Jesus Christ, he did not just do part of the mission, but he did it all. To set me free and to set you free. All right. Bye, GBBC. I uh, love you guys, and we'll see you later. Okay, bye. All right, didn't Pastor Justin do such a great job? So for those of you who watch these videos, you know we usually tie the lesson into someone. Who do we usually tie it into, Victoria? Water. Water. And Water's going to teach us something again today because she's sitting on the Lincoln Spring or a source of water. Right behind us are the railroads. So you can just imagine people coming through a long time ago. They're very thirsty. They need to get something to drink. Or here on Lincoln's farm, they're working hard outside and you need a little drink of water, right? And so that's where they would come right here. So we're going to, Victoria's going to read two passages today. The first is going to be our title verse, Numbers chapter 6. She's going to read verses 24 to 26 about blessing. We've been looking at blessing all year, but how it relates to different themes, such as prayer and Christmas. Well, this month we're looking at how it relates to blessing. So read our theme verse 24 to 26, Victoria. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. We've looked at these verses all year. The Lord bless you, keep you. The Lord lift you up. That's what blessing means. And the Lord does that for us. 
The, in Proverbs chapter 13, Victoria's going to read this verse, Proverbs chapter 13, verse 12, is a reminder for us for how we can get this blessing in times that are challenging. Remember, our theme is God blesses beyond challenges. So read 13, verse 12 in the book of Proverbs. Hope deferred makes the heart sick, but a desire fulfilled is a tree of life. Hope deferred. What does that even mean? What does hope deferred? Deferred means when you don't get it. When you don't get hope, it makes your heart sick. But when your desire is fulfilled, when you get what you want, that is like a tree of life. Well, think about a tree of life. The writer here, he was in the desert. So if, if there was a tree, there had to be a body of water, you know, for the tree to live. Well, that's what God is for us. God is that continual, ever-flowing body of water to make sure that, that we get what we need. Sometimes it's not what we want, but he gets us what we need. Peace, comfort. I think of the fruits of the Spirit. Fruit of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Those things help us be better people. That's a blessing when we get those things, when we get love instead of hatred, when we get peace instead of anxiety, when we get gentleness instead of turmoil. We get those things from the Spirit. That's what we produce. So not only is God that Proverbs 13, 12, that tree of life, but Victoria, tell us, who else? can be that tree of life for other people. We can. We can be that for our family. We can be that for our friends, for our teacher, for our mom and dad. Whoever needs to have that hope fulfilled, we can be that for those people. Right, Water? All right, everybody. I wanted to say one more quick thing because in case you didn't notice, he was getting a little fussy and then people were coming because, well, we're at a park. We're at a park and they were expecting to see the Lincoln Springs. So we had to tie it up. So before I send it back to those people at the spring and they say, stay chill, float on, all of that stuff. I wanted to say one more thing. We walked from the spring up to here where his boyhood home actually was. Well, actually it's right over there, but this is like a replicate spot here, the barn, the farm with animals there. There's a cabin right here. And it made me think that that was like a quarter to a half mile walk from the water up to here. Now, I'm sure that you've been playing somewhere or maybe even working and then you had to stop and walk and go get something to drink or go get something to eat. But think about doing that every single time. And maybe you do, but here's a little difference. Here in Indiana, it's not always hot. Sometimes it gets really, really cold. Yeah. Sometimes it snows, and so even still, they had to go down there, down the hill, back up the hill, to get the water that they needed to survive. So like we were talking about the Proverbs 13, 12, that tree of life that can be there to sustain us, the, the hope that is just so great, we get what we're hoping for in Jesus, the fruit of the Spirit, all that stuff we were talking about. We need to be that for people. We need to be close to them because... God blesses beyond challenges. Even when our friends, our family are experiencing challenges, we can be the ones to be that source of water for them. Right, water? So we, we can be that for them, but we have to do it. And the way we do it is by staying close to God. Now, this is something we've talked about before, and we encourage you, if you ever have any questions, for those of you on YouTube, just comment below, send us an email, whatever. For those of you on GBBC, ask your teachers, how do I make sure that I stay close to God? How do I get that relationship with Him? Because that's the most important thing. We think about the song that we talk about each week, One Way Jesus, or Ikalon Christo, and Tuberunsak and Kinabui. We think about Ikalon Christo, One Way Jesus. One way, Jesus. One way to get to him and one way that we then take him to other people. We can be that spring for people in their times of challenges. All right, well, let's go back to those people. 
So thank you so much for hanging out with us today as we've been talking about blessing. If you want to hang out with us more, what should they do, Victoria? Subscribe to our Pastor Matty Ice YouTube channel. That's right. Ask your parents if you can click that subscribe button and hang out with us before next month. We're so excited. Thank you for hanging out. I'm Pastor Matt. I'm Victoria. This is our associate Pastor Water. Wherever you are in the world, stay chill and flow on and be that spring. Okay. Bye, everybody.